Venus and Sagittarius is like, all they really want out of the relationship is to be taught by somebody. They want a guru in a relationship. They're there just to use you for your knowledge. They want experience. They want to expand uh, their possibilities of doing things. They'll make you feel like you know everything because that's what they're feeding, making you feed them. They're hungry for knowledge. They don't care about you. They don't care about being alone. Because they just don't want to be doing their life by themselves. They will um, want to marry you just to see what it would be like, just to know what the experience was like. They'll do things just for the experience. They're very inconsiderate. They're not like sentimental or anything about nothing. They're not. They just want to know what it's like to be in love. They, they just want to know... Well, they don't really care about love. They just care about experience that you can provide for them. They'll, if you travel a lot, they're up for that game. Obviously, they want to be using you for traveling. Um, they want to learn. They'll do anything to get out of their situation that they're in, like being stagnant and stuck. They are looking for foreigners to go out with. So once they break up with you, they already moved on really quick to somebody else. They already have backups. They always have backups. They are so inconsiderate of your feelings because they're not a water sign or an air sign. Um, they're a fire sign. So they burn out quickly from you and they don't see any other potential to be around you no more. Just like all the fire signs. They will abandon you. They see that you're not serving them no more. You cannot feed them no more. They'll let you go. You're empty to them now. But little they know, you could have changed. And so, because they want to change, you could have more things hidden. They think that you're not a mystery. They don't go that deep. They're pretty shallow. They are like Ariel the Little Mermaid. She's a centaur. She's, um willing to gamble with life like a Sagittarius is do. They're willing, she's willing to give up her father and her sisters, her family, and her best friend Fish. She didn't even consider taking the fish with her. Just over some guy that lives on, upon land. And she doesn't care about her beautiful hip talent, her singing voice. Um, she gave up that just for legs. And to be with some guy, Eric, she doesn't even know. So she didn't consider taking the fish with her and taking it in a putting it in a tank. No, she doesn't care. And she moved on really quickly from that. And just to see what it was like. Just learn. She always was about collecting and learning her knowledge. About experience and adventures. That's what it was. And um also, the way the Sagittarius's look, Venus is about love and beauty. Okay, their look is kind of like they love leather, right? They're always you will always see Sagittarius is wearing that leather, man. Whatever, and they like their their uh, crazy underwear, you know, with underneath that, and they are they they have this adorable face to them they look really innocent googly like i'm a crazy nut puppy dog and um they they have really pretty eyes they used to have really pretty thick skin they're always on they um they have pretty different colored eyes they look like they have uh panther eyes but like they're colorful and light and, and always happy go looky looking jovial looking and um they're like, always got a smile, even if their body's deteriorating, they just gamble with their life for that experience. They want drinking or whatever. It's bad for you, but whatever. And they always usually get ulcers for some reason. when They they know everything about their health, but they ignore it. What's up with that? I'm biting my jaw. Um, I don't... So, that's basically, oh, they, when they're with animals, they're always like, that's my buddy, this buddy, 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 buddy. They always say the word buddy, it's so funny. Hey, buddy. 
Um, and, um, they usually kind of look like gnomes or something, the Sagittarius people. They have little shaped faces of that person. Like a little gnome. I don't know. Like a round nose and rosy cheeks like Santa Claus or something. And they always like the style of a mohawk. You notice all the Sagittarius is always like the mohawks. And they're all about, you know, dyke looking shit. No offense. Like, they like dragons and different things. Masculine, masculine um, biker kind of things. Sagittarius does enjoy that type of style. And, um, they're always adorable looking. And, um, like adorable as in a puppy dog, a little kid that doesn't know, and they're always like, oops, I'm sorry, I, I did it again, like Britney Spears, she's a Sagittarius, but not necessarily Venus is Sagittarius, it's about Venus and Sagittarius. They want to keep things moving, they're afraid of commitment, but they, if they want to marry you, they just want to learn what it's like, and they'll go through with it, and if you're not going to go through with it, they'll end it, they'll move on really quickly, they're not about to mend things, they're not about to rehab things, they just don't want it anymore, they want to move on to different friends, different people. And that's how it is. No commitment. And, um, they're just committed to themselves, and if you're committed to serving them too, what they're gonna choose you for. Whatever. Same thing. <sighs> their philosophy in exchange, but don't they know narrow-mindedly that other people can too? Go and Venus and Sagittarius might be conceited about the way they look. Or maybe they're just convinced. <laughs>